Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I wanted to thank TEDx. I'd be honored and privileged to be here. I'm a, a fan of TED for at least for last three to four years. And uh, normally, you know, I download those videos and share with my friends and, you know, f students, you know, whoever, you know, studying with me. Uh, you know, always whenever I get bored, upset, okay. So, of course, the TED Talks, you know, always, you know, giving, give us a boost. So, first of all, I wanted to thank that, you know, I got an opportunity to, to give a talk here. So, theme is ideas of uh, changing world. So, my topic here, I'm going to give a talk. Can hacking be ethical? So uh, when I visit, when I uh, came here, actually, and you know, I met uh, Mr. Farhill. I mean, he's the first uh, talker. He was presenting his volunteer idea here. So so he, he was asking me, you know, what you are going to do. I said, you know, can ha hacking be ethical? That's what my topic. So he suddenly told me, hey, last month, you know, my Hotmail account was hacked. You know, is that ethical? Okay, so uh, I didn't give an answer to him, okay. Uh, and also one more thing, you know, actually this heading was not uh, picked by me, okay. So TEDx uh, actually request, you know, can you please give a talk on, you know, whether the hacking be ethical related to that. Because, you know, always, you know, we have this idea in Sri Lanka, you know, when I say, you know, I'm a certified ethical hacker, oh, you are a hacker, okay. that's what they ask, okay. No, I'm a certified ethical hacker. So anyway, you are a hacker, right? Okay. So uh, then also, you know, when I say, okay, I'm a computing forensic, uh, sorry, computer hacking forensic investigator. So when I say, again, they ask, okay, uh, that's also something to do with hacking, right? I said, no, it's forensic investigation. Now I just keep, uh, you know, I don't address myself like, you know, I'm a CEH or CHFI, okay? So at, other than the professional, uh, related task because you know this uh, you know ethical concept you know doesn't cross our mind so anyway you know uh, how this related with uh, today's theme ideas of uh, changing our world so because you know if you uh, look at last three talks you know those are very positive ideas okay so you know how I'm going to convince Okay, you, you know how the can hacking be ethical. You know, actually, you know, I'm not going to try to do that. And also, you know, I'm not going to, uh, you know, even do a change on um, your thinking. I wanted to create a vibration in your thinking process. Okay, so that's what I was trying to do. So we'll try. So that's my topic. So th this presentation I'll be doing in two parts, okay? So like it's mentioned here, you know, first of all, I'll be discussing some of the things related to ethics. Then of course, I'll be related some of the things uh, discussed, uh, I will be discussing some things related to hacking. So I'll be dividing the presentation in two sections. So let me discuss something about ethics. So when we discuss about this ethics, you know, we have our own definition, own frame in our mind. But of course, you know, let us see some of the definitions which is available in popular dictionaries. So if you look at ethics, okay, so there might be a definition saying a system of moral principles. Or might be another definition, a moral principle as of an individual. A field of ethics involving systemizing, divining, and recommending concepts of right and wrong behaviors. A set of principle of right conduct. The rules or, uh, or standards governing the conduct of, of a person or the members of profession. So, I mean, you know, there are plenty of definitions you can get. But of course, overall, if you look at this, all these definitions, there are few key terms comes to our mind. Principles, concepts of right and wrong behavior, right conduct, rules and standards. Okay, so you know every definition is actually you know depending on those key terms. Right or wrong, correct or rules, 
principles. Those are the terms in actually the ethics are relying on. So based on this uh, idea, you know, we will look at a picture. Okay, for maybe, you know, I want you to spend about five to 10 seconds on that picture. Actually, I downloaded this picture uh, you know, from the internet. So when you look at this picture, you know, just put yourself for a few seconds on dear's mind. I mean, imagine at that moment how much suffering you know, the deer will be going through, that fraction of a second. Okay, so you know we, we feel so. I mean, I feel so sad. I, I hope you know you know ninety percentage of you you know feel the same. You know. Okay. Now, we will see. Okay, you know we, we will get a feeling. Okay, you know what's the, you know why the nature you know the system is like that. You know why the world is designed in this particular way. Okay, why the deer is going through this pain. But look at that other side. Put yourself on the lion's place. Lion cannot eat vegetation. Okay? If the lion, you know, if, if it is not hunting, of course the family will be starving to death. So, you know, which one is correct? You know, when you put yourself into a deer's mind, you will get a different feeling. When you put yourself into the lion's mind, you will be getting a different feeling. Okay. So maybe you know we will take uh, one more scenario. Drinking wine. Okay. I hope everyone eats uh, grapes. Okay. So and also you know I'm not promoting any alcoholic here. You know I just wanted to take this for the discussion. So you know maybe you know try to uh, you know tell the answer to your mind. Okay. So inside your mind you know try to answer. You know I have some few questions. I mean drinking wine is that correct or wrong? Okay. So maybe we will take some of the scenario. A 12 years old kid is drinking wine. Is that correct? Is that wrong? I don't want to hear the answer. But of course, you know, answer it yourself. 18 years old adult, is that OK? Might be a grown Sri Lankan man. Is it OK to drink wine? What about a grown Sri Lankan woman? OK. A grown Europe woman? Now, how our mindset works? What about a 15 years old prince in 10th century? Is that okay? okay? So, you know, I mean, you will, you know, you might, okay, you may say, okay, it's wrong, correct, incorrect, okay, so words, but you know, if you, your mind will be started to think, okay, you know, that's okay, you know, that's, uh, in Europe, that's okay, maybe not in Sri Lanka, okay, so we have that particular field. Maybe, you know, let me take uh, one more scenario, but, you know, I would be really happy, you know, if you can do, really answer it in a piece of paper. Okay, because you know, actually, this, like I mentioned in the beginning of my presentation, I wanted to create a vibration in your thinking process, not in thinking. So I'd be, I'm going to ask about eight questions, and I would be really happy, you know, if you can answer it yourself, you know, whether it's okay or not okay. Maybe you can write just O or N, or maybe you can use it's ethical or unethical. It's up to you. But I would be really happy, you know, if you can, you know, do those questions with me. Question number one, checking your partners, okay, might be partner, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, whatever the category, partners, personal emails at home, is that okay or not okay or is that ethical or unethical, okay. So might be, you know, try to answer it by yourself. That's question number one. 
So personal accounts might be Gmail or Hotmail or whatever. So might be, you know, we'll go to the second question. Checking your part partner's personal emails at home without he, she knowing it. Checking your partner's official emails at home with his uh, awareness. So that's question number three. Might be the fourth one, checking your partner's official emails at home without he, she knowing it. Question number five, checking and replying to your personal emails at work. Well, I hope you know 95% of us will do that. Okay. Okay. So, Checking your partner's official emails at work with his or her awareness. The seventh question Checking your partner's official email at work without he or she knowing that. The final question is Checking your partner's official email where your partner is a CEO of the company at work with his or her awareness. So, I mean, you know, try, try to answer, you know, honestly for those questions. And might be match with, you know, what actually you may do. And uh, try to define the ethics. Okay, try to give a frame to the ethics from your point of view. Because finally from this discussion, you know, uh, I just wanted to pass the message Based on the definition and based on those scenario, three scenarios which I have discussed, I wanted to pass the message, ethics is a relativity, it's a relative concept. The second session is, you know, uh, the hacking. So, if you look at the eras, okay, so we had, you know, we know Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, okay, Middle Age, okay, so we have several, uh, you know, uh, ages or eras, okay, so an early modern age which goes up to 18th centuries, then of course the modern era which goes up to 20th, 20th century and finally now we are at information age. Okay. We strongly depend on information. Okay. So, you know, whatever is happening, you know, you know, we'll say, you know, I have 50,000 rupees in bank. We don't have physical 50,000 rupees in the bank, just the digital entry in the computer. That's it. Okay. So imagine, you know, what will happen if the database which is avail available in Pentagon is got hacked or maybe, you know, is destroyed. What will happen, you know, the database which is available in HSBC bank or whatever thing, you know, is got destroyed. Because we are strongly depend on information these days. Okay. So everything is digital. Everything is digital. Okay. So I I always you know you know see the positive things and the negative things as well. So now I, we strongly think you know our youth. Okay. So this is a negative point might be. Okay. So for the because previous uh, two couple of talkers was you know very positively mentioning about the youth. Okay. So but of course this is the one behavior I have noticed from the uh, youth about the digital age. I mean you know everyone you know, it's been dominated by the mobile phone okay. and Facebook. Okay. Today, 50% of the network traffic in the entire world, it's coming from Facebook. I still really don't know how a person can spend their entire day on Facebook. Okay. So I, I still... <laughs> Because it's virtual world. And also, you know, 2004, you know, if you remember, you know, there was a new uh, virt uh, virtual software was uh, created. It's called Second Life. Okay, I don't know, you know, whether you have ever about that. You know, it's, a, it's another world. You have a different name there. You know, you can buy places over there. You can buy home there. You can get married over there. Okay. It's called Second Life. So... You know, that's, you know, uh, you know it's, we are in the digital world. But not only in the personal life, even in the, you know, enterprise level, okay, the company level, you know, the, we give higher priority for this digital 
information okay so because everything is stored in digital so because of that okay so the virtual world everything is virtual you are transferring fifty thousand dollars to one account to another account it means just just binaries are get transferred in the internet over there nothing much more than that okay so the virtual world so because of this virtual world informations become very important the data become very important when some people realize when the data is very important of course the hacking started to begin okay what they try to do rather than going to the bank and you know going inside the bank you know doing several other things it's hard work just you know look at the data what is being transferred in the internet you know grab the money there why do you want to go through the pain of you know breaking the bank and going inside okay. so hackers you know that's the you know hacker started to come because every this is true in every place when when a particular technology come to the saturation then of course people try to think you know how we can secure this so that's hacking started to happen so what is ethical hacking so it's always okay so the hacking is happening you know they they are always advanced they think in different way okay they think like thief so what people try to think okay if we wanted to make our system secure we need to also think like a thief okay so what we do we have a bank system so we have a bank account we have a bank system so before the hackers attacks to the bank we will hire some people to attack to the bank like a hackers so and they will give list of information to us you know how to secure this okay so that is the concept of the ethical hacking so in the ethical hacking you know uh, you know there is a category called white hacker and the black hacker white hacker is the ethical hackers and the black hat hackers are the hackers you know who do the hacking for harming purpose so what is my point here i wanted to give can hacking be ethical it's up to you to decide thank you